Oh, look, new eggs in the hen house. Woohoo. I feel well rested and strong again. Okay, good. All right, let's go check out our new eggs in the hen house. Hi. Okay, you do move. <laughs> For a second, I was wondering if it moved, and I was like, um, okay. All right, eggs, eggs, Ooh. eggs, eggs. Are they specifically making noise when I pick? No, they're not. Okay. Ooh, more eggs. Yeah. There we go. All right. I think we got eggs. Hey, chickens. How's it going? You be good, chickens. I'm going to go sell my eggs. To our friend over here. What is going on here? Oh, barrel. Random barrel. Hello. Good to see you. Can I help you? Yeah. Uh, care to trade. trade? Sure. What do you need? The winning lotto ticket. Uh, let's see. So if I go... So he's going to pay 42 cents an egg. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and sell all my eggs. Gets me $10. Sweet. Um, okay. Wow. <laughs> Racing drone. Okay. Gourmet recipe egg can a new recipe for egg based dishes wonderful um <laughs> silver ring it's got all my eggs okay all right all right all right all right, all right, all right. so for three hundred dollars i i've made twenty five dollars so far I, i've got like three hundred more dollars before i can possibly buy that on egg profit Egg profit. Screw this. We're teleporting. Uh, where the heck are we? There he is. Yeah. Oh. There we go. I can do it. All right, I'll take the rest. Okay. All right, so we're going to make another, I don't know, 2,000 or so. That means we'll have about three. <laughs> to get any new machinery, we need like, what, 45? Something tells me this game is very grindy. But, but, I will say this much. It's grindy in a more logical way than, like, Farm Simulator. At least I think so. You might not, but I do. Alright, so while I was, when I came back, I realized I, if I cut through there, I think it's a little bit faster. It just felt faster. So we're going to do that. Cut through that, whatever that is. What is that? Uh, where am I? <laughs> ah, through the egg market. Okay. So I'm just going to cut right through and keep on rolling. I would just like a faster vehicle. All right, we made it. Time to unload this. Yeah, money, money, money. That's all we care is more money in our pocket. All right. 40, just shy of 4,500 bucks. Would be just shy of 5,500, but we put that uh, fuel in our, in our uh, 
main facility because we only had seven liters left and we're gonna have to put fuel in the harvester so kind of made sense to spend that money I wasn't about to drive the harvester to the uh, gas station because that would have taken <gasps> forever. Boar. Boar, boar. Run, run, boar, boar. <laughs> I wonder where dog dog went. Poor dog dog. We hardly knew ye. Well, we've made it back, people. we made it back. Finally. That was a long journey. Oh, it was a long journey. Okay. No rest for the uh, wicked, though. We need to immediately get on the move. Get our... Uh, get our canola? Is that what we're about? Yeah, canola. <laughs> Get our other field done, whatever it is. All right. Let's see here. Okay. I'm curious how quickly this thing is going to fill. See how close it is. Because, like, farm sim was always... Canola had the highest price, but, man, did it have a low yield. This might not be all that different. All right, turn off the header. No, actually, I think this has quite a good yield. Uh, move to discharge pipe. <laughs> okay, Jack Bear. It's killing me. It's killing me, man. What's this? Transport. Uh, no. Where's my... Where's, where's the pickup? Oh, there it is. <laughs> uh, click around enough, you'll find it there. You'll find it. Okay. Now, my hope is... To, to harvest up this field bail up the other field and then then next time we go hunting for a spouse <laughs> can't be that hard I mean I'm married so it can't be that hard <laughs> uh, no it's really actually really very hard uh, uh, to find one that's not cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs Shh, I didn't really say that. Uh, <laughs> not the header. Uh, yeah. I don't know how it works nowadays. I mean, people have apps and things, but I don't know. Whatever. I know nothing. I know nothing. I just realized there was a click to hire worker on there. Tempting. Tempting to hire a worker, but... I'm a miser. I'm a miser. I'm a Scrooge McDuck without any money. I am in real life, too, actually. <laughs> the uh, the house that I uh, bought, uh, let's just say it was uh, it was constructed by definitely the uh, the low bidder. <laughs> Let's just say that. And uh, some tiles have cracked. And they're like, yeah, not our problem, your problem. And I'm like, all right, fine, okay. And then, uh, like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a quote to get those things fixed, right? And I got the quote, and I was like, hmm, no. No, I'm not going to pay that kind of money. I will do it myself. I don't know how to do it, mind you, but I will figure it out and I will do it myself. Crazy prices. Crazy. I mean, they're not that crazy, actually. I asked around, but I'm not going to pay it. I'll figure out how to do it. It can't be that hard to lay tile, people. It can't be that hard. 
I realize those are famous last words, but I can figure it out. Or minimally, I can make an absolute mess and disaster of it, but <laughs> and the, the, the thing that killed me was the quote was with me doing all the demo and all the floor prep and laying a huge amount of of the tile myself. Like it wasn't like it was um that yeah, cause the Jack Bear. Um it it wasn't like it was uh you know me not doing anything. They just had to come in, lay some tile in a bathroom Is that it? Yeah, it was just that. It was ridiculous. I was just like, hmm, no. <laughs> and they even they even had the gall to ask um, <laughs> when I when I had them the person coming to quote and they were like, oh, um, can they use your tools? I was like, what do you mean use my tools? And I'm like, well, we can give you a discount if, if you let them use your tools. And I was like, why don't they have their own tools? <laughs> what? But, you know, what do you say? Um, oh, my gosh. Stupid thing. Quit moving around when you're, when you're discharging your... Ugh. Anyway. Okay, so canola yield is definitely less than um, the wheat yield. It's definitely farm sim esque in that. I think. Maybe we got seven ish thousand out of the uh, wheat field. I'm thinking we're going to get, well, that thing's already at 50%. I'm going to go with, probably, Say six, no, five. Oh, it can't be that bad. Well, no, we're at. Oh, no, we're at 80%. We are definitely not going to go under there. Okay. Um, no, we might come out of here with 7,000. If we come out of here with 7,000, then holy moly, Batman, that's going to be big bucks, isn't it? I think it's going to be big bucks. Because we're already already at four. Wow, because if we if we end up with two near full loads like we did before, we're talking we're talking, we're going to be high in the hog kind of money here. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, we're going to be like... Like... Is that would that give us another five or so?
Yeah, yeah, I think so. So then if, if we get another five on this and we're going to have ten ish. We might come out of this looking good. We'll actually have money. <laughs> Hey, look, you can work with your hands and make money, unlike the office world. <laughs> or some schmuck who went to business school steal it from you anyway. I'm not bitter. Bitter at all. I'm a realist. Now, because we're so close to the bear, let's do this. Okay. So that's... That's... Uh, I think, I think we're going to, I think we're going to walk out with some good money here. And then we have to bail the ba bail the bales. Pfft. Bail the straw. We should be uh, sitting high in the hug. We don't have any hugs, but we're high in the hug. <laughs> Guys, we just filled that trailer to 83%. At this point, we had like a smidgen aboard. Maybe this feels bigger, but it feels like canola is going to be the way to go. At least, at least right now. It did appear like the economics of the game are in effect because it looked like prices were down on the wheat going to the mill when I took it in the this morning thing. So my thought would be that we're going to see a like your canola prices will go down and your, I don't know, corn prices will go up or something like that. But that's just normal. Nothing to be really surprised by. So what I am surprised by is it feels like we might have a, uh, a big money situation coming up here. A big money situation. Say 83%. So we had two two loads and then a smatter out of the wheat. Canola's looking better. I think it's 720. We'll find out. We'll go look. I think it's 720 a ton. So we're down 30 bucks a ton off of what we were getting on the wheat, but I th I'm kind of okay with that. Yeah, look at that, 6,100. We're still not done. We probably have another two, maybe three unloadings. All right, so I was wrong. This is unloading number four. <laughs> uh... So we are, we are, uh, okay. So that's, tells me all I need to know right there. Like canola is the bomb diggity dog. Like, wow, is all I can say. If you want to, you want to make money, that's, that's the way to go. Drop. Hitch. I can put this thing away, ish. All 
All right. So, yeah. <laughs> Holy moly, we have we we ended up with a lot more canola. Let's go get a let's go get a final number. I know this doesn't make a lot of sense to dump this and then immediately pull it out of the silo, but let's me get a final aggregated number of of everything. Oh, I'm seriously hungry again. Well, there. No, I'm not. That's how I live my life, by the way. I just... <laughs> I just do until I'm, like, super, super hungry. Sometimes, no joke, sometimes I end up, like, almost sick with with um, hunger because I haven't eaten. All right, 10 and a half thousand kilos of canola. All right, now we only have to go to here because it's the only place buying canola. Seven, 764.49 a ton. Hmm. Interesting. So definitely high, high dollar right there. High dollar, okay. Let's uh let's get some money. The bright side is we don't have to go as far because this uh egg building is right right there in the distance. So quick drive. Lots of quick trips. Well, three quick trips. What you running for, dude? Where are you going? Don't run in front of my tractor. I will run you over and you will be a flat man. If your name is Stanley, then you'll be flat Stanley. Ha ha ha. Nope, just, just running. Guess he's out for a jog, something. All right, here we go. Time to, time to make some money. There we go. Plenty of cash. Nice. 7,600. Look at that. That is beautiful. That is, that is joyous. <laughs> Two more deliveries, one full, one not quite full. One not quite full. So, where are we at? 45, I think, and now we're at, let's just call it 45 to 75. So we made 2,000, 3,000. We made three. So we'd be expecting to be around 10 from this. Next delivery, and then I'll say 11. I'm going to say 11 with, uh, with everything. That's my guess, folks. 11 with all, everything delivered. Place your bets now about how close or far I will be from the... Uh, or place your bets on what you think that number is going to be. All right, second delivery, full trailer. Ooh. Interesting. Interesting. I said 11. Still got more to go. We're at 10.8. 10.881. All right, we got one more load to take. All right, we're taking the last load of 2,070 kilograms of canola. So I thought we were going to have time to bail. Whatever we got over there. But, unfortunately, it's really late while well, I'm recording this. So I'm going to have to go to bed. So we're not going to bail this episode, which is probably fine because I'm thinking this episode's uh, probably coming up to its usual max. So 
we're going to deliver this load. Figure out how much money we got. Get this. Uh, figure out what, what what we think. Hey, look. Guys, guys. Look. It's Dog Dog. Shh. Be very, very quiet. Dog Dog, what the frick are you doing? <laughs> uh, Dog Dog. Screw you, Dog Dog. I don't know. Why? Oh, he's, he's right there. His name apparently is Rex. That's a stupid name for Dog Dog. That was a silly dog dog. Anyway, <clears throat> we're going to deliver this and then we're going to call it. We're gonna, we'll know how much money we got. <clears throat> Next time we will, um, we will bail. Or, and or, we're going to try to find somebody to that wants to marry us to see if we can't uh, can't complete that part of this uh, quest line here in this dynasty thing and what else well I guess that's really it I mean we gotta we gotta keep working on our social points and um Yeah, <laughs> that, that's pretty much all I got. Uh, I know we have to do some more quests for achievements, but I'm not really worried about that right now. So let's, uh, okay, everyone has, has recorded in their brain or on a piece of paper what they think our total is going to be. I said 11. I'm wrong. <laughs> let's just say that. I'm wrong. Ooh. 12 and a half. So whoever called it close to 12 and a half... You got it right. That's how much we got. We got 12 and a half grand. We're going to be putting canola back in the, those fields. I think both those fields. And we're going to hope for uh, for good things. Oh, I guess we could put peas because says, eh, whatever. Um, <clears throat> all right. So I'm going to stop the tractor here and hop out of the Jack Bear. Um, so thank you all for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, you know what to do. Um, next time we will bail and maybe try to get a wife or find something else. I'll, I'll see. Let me know if you think I need to do something else first. Until then, y'all have a great day.